No believer should ever have to go to someone else to get healed. Bottom line, that's the way it is. Now, in the meanwhile, while people are growing, learning, coming into a, a maturity, of course, we're here to help and we're here to lay hands on anybody that wants us to and to believe for their healing. And like I said before, I can get you healed. I just can't keep you healed, right? Because once you leave, many times that thing will try to come back on or will try to do different things. Why? Because it, it knows that you got away from the person that helped you. And so it is important that you build yourself up in your faith, in God's love, so that you will know that when you ask, then God will answer. And so now, I'll be honest, I don't, even if there's a problem, a situation going on in my life, uh, something physical, I, I generally do not talk to God about it. I go after it. I command it myself to, to command my body to line up with the word of God, command whatever I need to do. I generally don't take it to God. Why? Because this is, <laughs> this is my realm. Right? I'm not talking about healing being my realm. I'm saying I try not to bother God with things that I already know his answer to and what he's going to say. And it's just useless to go to him on that sense. Or, you know, I wouldn't say useless. I mean, of course, he hears it. But at the same time, uh, that's not the process. And so if I don't pray for other people's healing, why would I pray for mine? Right. So I talk to my body just like I would talk to your body. I would talk to whatever the illness is or whatever the problem is, just like I would do it in you. So I don't take it to God. And what does that mean? That means that my time with God is spent more in fellowship and communion and talking with him and not asking for stuff. 